Shalom, Akia. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, the ones to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word of truth and sincerity. And I actually just came across this article, all right, <clears throat> on about the extinct of the Javon Rhinos. And uh, according to this article, which was, uh, it says, five days ago, right? It says that the Javon Rhino are officially extinct, okay? And under the hands of this devil, okay, Edom, Esau, the so-called white man, the wicked inhabitants of the earth, you know, the beasts are consumed, okay? The whole earth is out of whack. Uh, everything is being destroyed by the hands of this devil. But what I'm touching on today is, you know, you have a lot of, animals right you know you have a lot of beasts different wildlife okay different uh uh aqua life okay you know uh what else you know all different manners of of kinds of the beasts that the heavenly father have created you know they're all being destroyed by the hands of this devil okay and also of his his wicked inventions which is you know uh Killing off these animals, right? You know, but speaking on this, um, they said that they were about to go extinct, uh, you know, a few years back. But now, I guess the list is just officially saying that they are extinct. Okay, why? Because the wicked does not regard the beast. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. The tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. I'll say that. Because also what you have with this devil, this devil goes around the earth hunting animals for fun. You know, it's not like he's hunting these animals to survive. He's hunting these animals to take pictures and hang their heads on the wall and all these different things. Just just for fun. Okay, hey, like the scriptures say, uh, Esau is a man of the field. Man, because who, who is out there really... You know, hunt, just hunting down animals for fun. What what race of people are actually doing this? Esau, man, he's the predominant race that's actually doing that. Now, you do have other races that are joining in, you know, falling away behind this heathen, behind this devil. But the forefront, the, uh, uh, the runner of that is Esau. All right? Because he has nothing else to do. But to destroy the earth. Okay. And everything in it. Because he is the wicked. Everything that comes across this man's path. Uh, he destroys it. Alright. So let's. Uh, we're going to start at. Uh, Proverbs 12 and 10. Right. It says. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. You see? And who is the wicked? The border of wickedness? Esau, Edom. You so-called white people. You are flat out the devil. Okay? You are the devil. Point blank period. If no one cannot see it, then that's just on them. But you are the man that's running around polluting the air, polluting the water, killing off all the animals... Uh, changing up the ways, the natural ways of the Heavenly Father, how you made everything, you know, and you're just taking things into your own hands. But you're destroying everything around you or around us because we are actually living through this madness of the wicked things that you're doing. But here it is. No one is speaking out on this devil for what he's doing. Everybody's just hiding in a closet when it comes to things like this. But here you have it, uh, you know, you have a Jake Killer police dog. Uh, they can get 25 years to life in jail for killing a dog, right? But no one says nothing to this devil when he's just roaming the earth killing all the animals. You know, look, you have bees that are extinct, that are going extinct. You know, different fish life, different uh, birds. From all the different pollutions that's going on from this devil. But no one is saying anything. No one is complaining about the, the state of the earth. The state of the, the beast. The state of the people. 
No one is saying anything about this devil. But the Hebrew Israelites, because we're speaking out against this devil and his wicked ways, we're the problem. You see? Because this place is a, a, a bunch of hypocrisy, man. And you people fall right in line with this uh, hypocrite devil. Okay? You fall right behind this devil. Hey, and that's why two-thirds of our people, which that's billions of Israelites, got to be destroyed here in America with them. Hey, because the Lord says, he did not gather with me, get scattered abroad. Okay, now let's uh, let's go back into this, right? About this devil destroying in the earth and the land and everything. Um, Hosea 4 verse 3 it says, Therefore shall the land mourn. And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beast of the field, and and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. And it, you can see this happening now. Okay, just just look up the uh, the list of all the different uh, uh, wildlife that's going on on going extinct. Okay, you're, you're going to have a, a a list where you can speak about it for days. You know, Lord, well, hopefully I'll do a lesson just touching on a, a, a few a few uh, <clears throat> different wildlife that's going extinct just to show you the record of this devil, what he's doing, how he's destroying everything. Yes, and the land is mourning as well, right? There's a reason why you're having all these different earthquakes and things like that because they're sucking all the lubricant, they're sucking all the oil out the ground. You see? Hey, and here it is that the Lord uh, made a land Sabbath. So the earth can get its time to rest. Do you think this devil cares? No. He's just roaming the earth, being the devil that he is, doing what he pleases. And this is why the Lord has to come back and take this man out of power. Right? If this man does not go out of power, then we're all through. Okay. Uh, let's get Jeremiah 12 verse 4. It says, How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of the field Slot in the herds of every field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. The beasts are consumed. You see, the beasts are consumed, and the birds because they said he shall not see our last end. See, there you go. The, the beasts are consumed, man, by the hands of who Esau Edom, the man that was blessed with the sword, right, and the fatness of the earth. You can't tell me that Esau is not the so-called white man, okay? Who's the one that goes out and loves his gun? Esau, Edom. He takes his gun everywhere. Who, who's the one that's always uh, on the face of hunting season? Esau. The man that's always traveling and wandering, you know, through different lands, right? Just killing off animals, you know? Just taking over lands, just doing all types of manners of wickedness. Who is doing that? Because it's sure not it's not Ishmael. Okay, which are the Arabs today? It's not Ishmael. It's Esau, the so-called white man. Alright. Hey, but like the scripture says, uh, you know, them that destroy the earth, uh, roughly paraphrasing, should be destroyed with it. Right, Revelation, uh, 11 and 8, 18. Um, <clears throat> it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Now, who has the power in their hand at this time that can roam around and do whatever he wants and destroy the earth? Who's in control over everything right now, o over all the different nations that can just go into uh, other people's lands and, uh, you know, promote their democracy and their religion and, and take over their uh, financial type of uh, orders or, or, or put forth the new world orders in different lands? Esau eat him. Because what? The power is his, is in his hand. But what? And should have destroyed them which destroy the earth. You see? So Esau has to be destroyed off the face of the earth. Okay? For his wickedness. You see? 
And it was already spoke of the characteristics on how this man would be. Um, I believe it's Genesis 25. I want to go to the point, right? Uh, I'll start at 21. 21, it says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord entreated him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So Rebekah is about to have two different sons, which is going to make up two manners of different people of two different nations. Right? And one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. Right? Now, who's physically stronger? Okay, Jacob. Representing who? The 12 tribes are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Esau, right? Representing you so-called white people. Now, who is physically stronger in everything? Jacob, okay? We are physically, naturally stronger because that we were made to be. Right? And it says the elder shall serve the younger. Right? Because you are going to be enslaved under us in the kingdom of heaven. But let's continue on. It says, and when her days... And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau, right? And the reason why they're giving the description of Esau, okay, because he wasn't normal, right? His dad his dad named him Aishashua, I mean, he wasted away because he didn't have no pigmentation. He didn't look like everyone else, okay? And that's why he came out red all hairy like a garment, okay? Because the so-called white man is actually not white. He's red, man, Okay? He laughs too hard, he turns red. He cries, he turns red. He gets cold, he turns red. You smack him, he turns red. Okay? He has no pigmentation. You can see his basically his blood flow, you know, through his leprosy skin that he has. Right? And he's a hairy beast. Okay? Verse 26, it says, And after that came out his brother, came his brother out, and, and his hand took hold on Esau's hill, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them, right? And here go the point. It says, and when the boys grew, Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, right? Look at Esau today. Look at his characteristics. He's a what? A cunning hunter, and he's a man of the field. He likes to run around hunting things, okay? Doing everything, you know, that's just, just you know, exotic. I'll say that, right? It says Jacob was a plain man dwelling in a tent because Jacob, our people, they just like to, you know, chill. They like to relax, right? It says uh, that Isaac loved Esau because he did eat the venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. You see, but that's the point I wanted to get, right? It says Esau was a cunning hunter, meaning crafty, okay? You, if you see the ways how he hunts these different things, he'll dress in camouflage just to shoot a deer, right? He'll uh, uh the, the catch ducks, he'll he'll use a whistle and use things like a mating call for different animals to have them come closer to him just to shoot them. Okay? So what? He was a crafty hunter, but the point is he's a man of the field. And what you see that's happening in these different fields and these different lands, that he's killing off all the animals, you know, through his his weapon, which he was blessed with, right? The sword. And also what is the his his damn technology. Okay, his different pollutions, his different, uh, uh, you know, watercrafts, aircrafts, you know, whatever. You know, but it was all designed and created by who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay? And the Heavenly Father has to take this devil out of power or what? Everything will be consumed. Right? But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, uh, you know... I seen an article and I want to, you know, go into that topic and, you know, just speak on this devil a little bit, man. Because he got to be called out for his wickedness and all the wickedness that he have done here on earth, man. Okay. And and that's what we're patiently waiting for, man. The Lord to come back and destroy this devil, take this devil out of power and, you know, set up the righteous. Okay. Which are the Israelites. Okay. Shalom.